Hello, and welcome to the Vortex video series on the Infinite Variable Position Controller, or IVP. In this tutorial, we will discuss the setup of the IVP. Specifically, we will show you how to calibrate the IVP to the feedback potentiometer that is attached to the bulk material valve. Calibration is required, as the stroke of the valve is less than the stroke of the linear potentiometer. As always, be sure to read and understand the instruction manual before working with the IVP. Let's get started. For this tutorial, the IVP is connected to a 6-inch or 150 millimeter vortex roller gate valve. The valve and the IVP are connected to power and to a compressed air supply, but the IVP is in the off state. Press the Run Manual button, followed by the Program button. Next, press the Menu button to access the setup options. Press the Up button until Calibration is displayed, and press the Select Option button. Press the Select Option button again to choose the Feedback Pot Cal option. As prompted by the IVP, we will calibrate the closed position first. Press the Close button under the Run Manual button, even if the valve is already in the closed position. Notice the number in the lower right portion of the display. This number is representative of the valve gate position on a scale of 0 to 255. Once the valve is in the fully closed position, press the Select Option button. Next, we will calibrate the Open position. Press the Open button under the Run Manual button. Once the valve is in the fully open position, press the Select Option button. The second line of the IVP display now shows the open and closed representative values. To save the values and complete the calibration of the feedback potentiometer, press Select Option again. This completes the feedback potentiometer calibration of the IVP. For more information, please visit vortexglobal.com and be sure to watch our other videos on the IVP, valves, and case studies.